What is I sleep? Kimame. Kimame. And the closed version of Kimame? Kimitho. Kimitho. So we have our accent on the ending on Ame, Kimame. So we go Kimitho. They want to sleep. Selun na Kimithun. Selun na Kimithun. How is I remember? Timame. Timame. And the closed version of Timame? Timitho. Timitho. What was the word for when? Pote. Pote. And when, when it's not a question, like, you know, tell me when you remember. Otan. Otan. Tell, as an order, was pes. Pes. A bit strange because, you know, we are working with po, so we get pes for tell. So, how would you say tell me when you remember? Pesmu otan timithis. Very good. Pesmu otan timitis. Pesmu otan to timitis. So after otan, no, we have to think about also whether we want our open or closed form of the verb. So when you remember, you know, that's definitely closed event once. Pesmu otan to timitis. Pesmu otan timitis. So it's easy to get the closed version of these verbs that have their accent on the ending. We just add ir. Timame, timitho, kimame, kimitho. With other verbs, it's slightly more complicated, but we can find our own patterns, and mostly we will have the same th or t sound popping up. So I mentioned hanome, I get lost, and the closed version, hatho. So here we have a th, and the th deletes the n of hanome. Hanome, hatho. Hatho. How would you say you will get lost? Hathis. We have our accent on the ending, no? Even if we don't in Hanome, when we go into the closed form, Hatho, no, we accent that ending. So you will get lost? Tachathis. Tachathis. Very good. Tachathis. So we have a TH for our closed form, and that deletes the end. So we want to look out to see if this is a pattern, if this happens in other places. The word for crazy in Greek is trelos. 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 Like T R E L O S. Trelos. How would you say you're crazy? Is a trelos. Is a trelos. Is a treli. How would you call somebody crazy talking to a male like, hey, crazy? Trele. Trele. Very good. We have os. No, so to get our vocative. To call a male, we only use this with males in the singular. We remove that os and we add e, trele. If you go to Cyprus, you will hear pele all the time. In Cyprus, we say pelos for crazy. So you will hear pele a lot in between friends. Pele mu. I go crazy is trelenome. 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 So ome carries the meaning, literally, no, of myself or like I am. In this case, I get crazy is something like I crazy myself, rather than I am crazy, no? Which would be ime trelos. So, trelenome, I crazy myself, I get crazy. So, we have an end there, no? Trelenome. So, when we go into our closed form, and we add th, that end will disappear, just like between chanome and chatho. But also, we have another change. Trelenome, this e sound of le, trelenome, is spelled ai, na i get swallowed up when we add our th. So you want to give that a try, how that will sound, the closed form of trelenome? Trelazo. Trelazo. Very good. So we have ai giving us e in trelenome, but if we lose that i, we're just left with the a, no? Trelazo. I will go crazy. Trelazo. Trelazo. So again, we lose the n, no? Hanome, chazo, trelenome. Trelazo. Although we have another small change there as well, no, in the vowel. Trelenome, trelazo. And we can get the past quite easily from our closed version of these verbs. We have the same past endings as always, but we add ik before the past ending. So, I got lost is chathika, chathika, chathika. And we have the accent third from the end, like always now in the past. And actually, the reason we're adding this ik is to give us an extra syllable. It's to give us an extra syllable, but instead of adding one at the beginning, as we do with normal verbs, so for example, chano to chaso and echasa, I lost, no? With these verbs, we're adding a syllable, but it's before the ending, ik. So we get ika, chatika. How would you say I got crazy? We have trelaso, so? Trelatika. Trelatika. 
So it doesn't matter, you know, if we have already more than uh, two syllables. Now we're always putting this ik. We're always inserting this extra syllable. Relatica. We got crazy. Relaticame. Good. We keep the accent third from the end. Relaticame. Why did you get crazy, my friend? Why did you get crazy, my friend? Yatit relaticas filemu. Very good. Yatit relaticas filemu. Or you could say vre filemu. This is common as well. Vre. It's like to get uh, someone's attention to be emphatic. Vre ore. Yatit relaticas refilemu. What if you're talking to more than one person? Why did you guys get crazy, my friends? Yati trelasikate filimu. Very good. Yati trelasikate filimu. Very filimu. And, you know, for the plural friends, we don't have any different way to address them. Just fili, the plural. What was I need? Hriazome. Hriazome. The closed version was hriasto. 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 You remember how to say, I get tired? We had kurazo for I tire, like I tire someone else. But I get tired, I tire myself. Kurazome. Kurazome. The closed version of kurazome is kurasto. 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 So actually we found another pattern, no? Azome, tuasto. Hriazome, hriasto. Kurazome, kurasto. And in both cases, the Zs. Are changing to S's, no? Kurazome, kurasto. Hriazome, hriasto. Do you get tired? Kurazese. Kurazese. You will get tired. Takurastis. Takurastis. I got tired. Kurastika. Kurastika. This can also mean like, you know, I got fed up. Kurastika. Kurastika me afton. I got fed up with him. Did you get tired? Kurastikes. Kurastikes. Did you guys get tired? Kurastikate. Kurastikate. Very good. They got tired. Kurastikan. Kurastikan. Or kurastikane, we could hear. What was it, I imagine? Fantasome. Fantasome. So, do you notice anything? Do you notice... Uh... A familiarity, a familiar pattern. It has the zomer. Good. So how might the closed version be? Fantasto. 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 Let's imagine. Na fantastume. As fantastume. Good. Na fantastume. As fantastume. Let's imagine. I am born. I am born. Is yenyeme. 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 So what's the first thing you notice about yen yeme? The yeme? It's yeme, it's not ome, no? Which also means that it's accented. No, we notice it's accented. The ending there is accented, yen yeme. So even though it's not a familiar one like ame, you know, that we've seen more commonly, we still know what it does to get into the closed form. It has the accent on the end. So the closed form of yen yeme, I am born, is... Yenitho. Yenitho. Yenyeme, which is the rama e double n i e, which gives us this ye sound, m a i. Yenyeme, I am born, is actually related to genetics. No, it's spelled with rama, which has been softened by the e sound, and we have the g in genetics. Yenyeme, I am born, and yenitho. No, the closed version. How would you say he will be born soon? I yenisi. Sidoma. Tayenithi Sidoma. He was born. Yenithike. Yenithike. You were born. Yenithikes. Yenithikes. Where were you born? Who Yenithikes. Who Yenithikes. I was born in England. So to say I was born in England, we will say in the England. England is Anglia. 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 Anglia is spelled with two ramas. We've seen how that gives us NG or just a G, like in the word angelos, angel, or angelo. No, we could hear angelos or agelos. So for England, we could hear Anglia or Aglia. So how would you say, I was born in England? I was born in the England. Yenithika stin Anglia. Yenithika stin Anglia. How would you say, I wasn't born yesterday? 
I wasn't born yesterday. Then Yenithika thes. Very good. Then Yenithika thes. I wasn't born yesterday. You know, like I'm not stupid. 